Paris, the city of lights, offers something for everyone. From shopping to beautiful Beaux-Arts architecture, this city is a magical fairy tale alive in the 21st century. With so much to see and do, it can be a bit overwhelming as to where to start. This is the reason why on our website, we created 30 more videos about the city, including food in Paris, Paris at night, Paris with kids, and more. But for now, let's count down the top 10 attractions that are a can't miss during your visit to this magical city. At number 10, the Pantheon. Located in the Latin Quarter in Paris and a short walk from Jardin de Luxembourg, this one-time church now functions as a secular mausoleum, housing the remains of some of the most distinguished French citizens, including Victor Hugo and Marie Curie. But it's not what's located underneath the Pantheon that's a must-see attraction. The 360-degree panoramic views of the city are some of the best in all of Paris. And with shorter wait times than that of the Eiffel Tower, visiting the Pantheon can save you valuable time if you're on a tight schedule. At number 9 is the Arc de Triomphe. Located at the western end of the famous Champs Elysees, the Arc de Triomphe is the linchpin of the historical axis which extends from the Louvre to the Arc. Check out our website for more videos about special tours in this area. The Arc de Triomphe is accessible by both the RER train and metro stations with an exit at Charles de Gaulle Etoile. A lift takes visitors to the top where you can enjoy a small museum of the Arc and of course take in some breathtaking panoramic views of the city. At number 8 is the Tuileries Garden. Located between the Louvre Museum and the Place de la Concorde, this public garden is a great place to take a break and relax after a long walk down the Champs-Élysées or after a long day of visiting the Louvre. It also offers a number of activities for children, giving parents a chance to relax. For more information about visiting Paris with children, check out our special video on our website and learn how visiting Paris doesn't mean having to leave the kids at home. At number 7 is Centre Pompidou, located in the 4th arrondissement of Paris, near Les Halles and the Marais. Centre Pompidou is the largest modern art museum in all of Europe. The Place Georges Pompidou, which is located in the front of the museum, is famous for its street performers, and in the spring, it is home to miniature carnivals featuring a wide variety of bands, caricature, and sketch artists. Just the thing to keep the kids happy after a long visit through the museum. Number six is Versailles. While not centrally located in Paris, if you can only fit in one day trip during your visit, make it to the Palace de Versailles. Located 30 minutes outside of Paris via the RER train, Versailles is the most luxurious and historic royal chateau in all of France. Be sure to do your research on the many things to do while at Versailles before you go, as it is so massive that you are sure to miss some hidden treasures if you are not prepared before your trip. For people with a limited time in Paris, you should consider skipping this attraction, as it does eat up a full day of your time when visiting Versailles. Number 5 is Sacre Coeur. A popular landmark located at the summit of Montmartre, Sacre Coeur is the highest point in the city and as a result offers some of the best views in all of Paris. And the best part is, it's all free. Sacre Coeur is also a great stop after a long walk through the streets of Paris, where you can enjoy a picnic underneath this incredible church while basking in the panoramic views of Paris. To learn more about Montmartre, check out our website for an exclusive video about this area. Number four is Opera. One of the most beautiful buildings in all of Paris, Opera is not a final destination, but rather a quick stop in the 12th arrondissement of Paris, which is better known for the Grand Magasin of Printemps and Galerie Lafayette, two of the most famous shopping centers in all of Paris. What makes Opera such an attractive stop is that it is a nice alternative for those to enjoy the cultural side of Paris while others venture off shopping. Opera is also adjacent to the Paris Story, which is an amazing historical tour through Paris, 
fully realized in 3D movies and a miniature replica of the entire city. Number 3 is Notre Dame, probably the most well-known cathedral in the entire world, thanks in large part to Victor Hugo's novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame, is located on the eastern half on the Ile de la Cité along the Seine. Due to its overwhelming popularity, it is best to visit Notre Dame during the week, when lines to visit the top are shorter, and be sure to check out the crypts of Notre Dame, which is an often forgotten treasure of this cathedral. Number two is the Louvre, one of the world's largest museums, housing nearly 35,000 objects from prehistory to the 19th century, which are exhibited over an area covering 60,600 square meters. Located on the right bank of the Seine, the Louvre is the most visited art museum in the entire world. When visiting, we recommend that you prioritize what you want to see. If Egyptian artifacts are your fancy, stick to that. However, if you are more interested in Greek culture, go to those wings instead. To put it simply, there is no way you can see all of the Louvre in one visit. So, plan ahead to maximize your time and always purchase your tickets in advance to avoid waiting in long lines. Number one is of course the Eiffel Tower. As it is without a doubt the most famous attraction in all of Paris, it is also the most populated, especially on the weekends. So, it is best to visit the Eiffel Tower on weekdays and you must book your tickets in advance if you want to travel to the top of the tower. Wait lines can exceed four hours, and for those with a limited amount of time in Paris, can find themselves there for the entire day. These were our top 10 attractions in all of Paris. Visit our website to view 30 videos with all of our tips and reviews in 10 different languages, so you can plan your perfect vacation. Bon voyage. <laughs>